Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Ormark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And we're in week five of our handmade Christmas ideas. And today we're going to do a, um, a Santa, his belt. Um, it's something that I've done on various things before. And I thought we'd do it on a box, but the principle, you can do it on whatever you want. So you need a piece of cardstock which measures, this measures um, 11 inches by 4 inches. So you can actually make two out of one piece of cardstock, which is rather good. And I just need to find my scoring tool because I've just realised it's not there. So bear with me two seconds. There it is. It's just fallen out of the side. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to let my little dog in from the garden. So hold on a second. It's getting too chilly outside to be able to have... Um, the door open so I have to let her in and out. So we've got the piece of cardstock which is 11 by 4 and we are going to on the short side we're going to score one inch from each side so I do it rather than trying to do it on here because it's a long one I'm going to do it at three inches so let me get my three inches And then I'm going to turn it round and do it at three inches. It means that it's easier for me rather than trying to, to hold this and get this on a long piece. It's more difficult. OK, so now we're going to take it on to the um, 11 inch side and we're going to score it at one inch. So it's easier on this because it's shorter. We're going to score it at, oh, I just need to double check, actually. I thought I had all my, I've just let me take this one out on here. It is five, yes. So one inch, five inches. Six inches. And hold on, I'm going to have to put this out again. Five inches, six inches and ten inches. So it's a very simple one. Whoops. Ten inches. OK, so we on the, the long side, we've done it at one inch, five inches, six inches and ten inches. And on the short side, we've done it at one inches and three inches. And that's all the scoring that we have to do. So I can then move this out of the way. And as I say, it's a really, a really simple project. You can do this actually, whether you want to do it in um, a box like this, or you can actually do it in um, as a card. Um, you can do it on a larger box. I would say you need to have it in a rectangular sort of shape because then that sort of gives it the body shape of, of Santa Claus, as it were. OK, so we're going to burnish on all of these and then you are going to cut down on each one of the lines down here and just wedge in on the squares and do the same on the other side. So I've got one already prepared because you don't need to see me cutting it out. So if I do it on here, you can see we've gone down each one of these. So straight on your rectangles and on your squares, you need to do a little wedge. My dog's decided she's going to make silly noises, but there you go. OK, so we can now look at putting this box together. Now you can do it with um, tape. Or you can do it with glue, whichever you prefer. I tend to do everything with glue because it allows me a bit of wiggle room. And I do like that. I'm hoping I've still got some glue left in here. It feels a little bit... Uh, um... Now, when we're looking at the box, we are going to build the bottom of the box first. So always build your base first. So all of this... 
like that we're going to build first so we need to put some glue on the outside of these two and the outside of those so I tend to turn it over so I can see exactly where I'm going and you want to make sure that you have your glue so that it comes right up to your edges and particularly on this edge don't necessarily need it in on the center but you do need to make sure that you've got the glue up on the edge and I tend to do all four pieces at the same time because then I can push them in together and it makes it easier okay so we can then take it this way and we're going to put these two pieces in so you want to have these so that they butt up nice and neatly which is why we've done the little wedge because by having the wedge on there it makes it a lot easier and it means that it doesn't stick up over the top if you don't have your little wedge in there what happens is that the side of the box doesn't close neatly and if you look on the inside I hope you can see that you've got this wedge coming down so it just means that the box will close a bit neater all boxes that you're making you need to do the same sort of process with so just making sure that that's stuck in on here and this little one just need to tuck you in on there and make sure that both these pieces go in and just stick firmly on the edge there and we'll take this one and make sure that this is stuck firmly on the edge there okay and then as I say just sort of give it a a second to make sure that it's all stuck in nicely like that so you've now got your bottom now with the top I tend to put it in I'm going to glue these two tabs on here again from the outside so just a little bit of glue in on there just a little bit of glue in on there and then I tend to close my box put this in first because I want my box to be able to open nice and neatly so if I put this closed first and put these pieces down and then put this piece down and this piece in over the top it means that I know that the box is going to open you know when you're making a box with a lid you leave sort of like a sixteenth of an inch so that it comes in I always find that if I close if I glue it once it's closed it means that it opens far easier okay so that means that that should open far easier now what I tend to do as well is just to put a little notch in on here you can do that with a hole punch let me see if I've got my little circle punch or any little punch uh, doesn't really matter what shape it is in fact I've got the um, the little best label punch that'll do a nice little one in there hopefully so I'm just going to take this up oh it might might not quite actually because it's a bit um it would have worked if I hadn't have had it um what you call it um I hadn't already um glued it together but as I say just do a little this one works just a tiny little circle on here and then that'll give a just a little thumb hole on there so it just makes it a little bit easier to open it okay there we are 
Okay, so now there's your little box. You can fill it with whatever you want. So you can fill it with, you know, sweet treats. You can fill it with a little bit of jewellery. You can fill it with, you know, anything. Because this is going to be sort of a, um, a, a Santa, it's probably for more for a, um, you know, a stocking gift for a little one. So you can now, when it opens or closes, you can see that this little bit gaps a little bit so I will turn it round completely the other way because it doesn't matter when you're opening it how it opens and we then need to take a piece of black cardstock um, seven inches long and you need to cut a one inch strip off so I've already done that so a one inch strip you can score it if you want to it's as easy, so you could score it at your two inches, but it's as easy to do it with uh, just by folding it. So I tend to fold it because what you want is, as it's a belly band, you want it to come on and off fairly easily. So you don't want it overly stuck. So I am going to just put a little bit of glue on the end of one piece. So I'm going to take it on the end of the whoops on the end of this one. Don't need to have a huge amount, just a little bit of glue in on here. Like that. Then we're going to have this. We know that we've got this in on here. And I'm just quite loosely putting it in so that it just glues in down on there but you can see I haven't done it tightly because I want the band to be able to come on and off quite easily so I've just taken that in so it means that the band should come in you can see it comes in rel need to let it glue, stick in for a little bit but it does mean that it will once it's glued in it's going to come on relatively easily because we haven't done it too tight okay so I'm not going to take it on and off until that's really stuck okay so that's the bottom of your Santa and then what I've done is I have just taken a square. Now this square is, um, it's an inch and a half. And I had two um, square dies, so um, an inch and a half and an inch, so that I could just make a buckle. You can cut um, an inch or an inch and a half and then take um, either with a craft knife, cut it through, um, or if you've got a punch, you can do it that way. And that's going to be the buckle. So the buckle is just going to sit on there like that. So all I need to do is I want to just take this in the middle of these two sides. So I don't want to take it up at the top because I want the buckle to just sit in and the top bit to be as a buckle would just slightly loose so that can go in on there like that you want to just put it down so you've got the same distance from the top to the bottom just like that And then the top and the bottom part of the buckle is loose so that it looks as if it was a, you know, a proper buckle. OK, and then you've got two options. You can either take some twinklies, grab my twinkly box. OK, and you can put I've, I've just taken some out of there and you can put some buttons in on the top here. Or you can take a um, and I've taken a two inch two by two inch piece of card. And in fact, I can show you another one because I did cut a couple. Here we go. Leaning right the way across. Excuse me. 
Okay, so I've cut a two by two square. You want it to come the two inches because the two inches is the important thing in the width. And then you can take from the bottom. So depending whether you want the his um, beard to be long or pointed or however you want it just sort of take it across from the side in on there you know there's no real sort of science to it it doesn't have to be an exact thing just sort of wiggle it across like that and then when you put it on you've got a Santa's um, little beard. Now you can put a Merry Christmas on there. So you can put a stamp saying Merry Christmas. And I, I kind of like that on a box um, because it, it just, it makes it look more Father Christmassy if you see what I mean, or Santa Claus. So I'm going to put, I'm going to find, I know I've got a little, um, one that's got Merry Christmas on. I think it's on the, here we go. It's on the um, Peaceful Deer. You could put Ho Ho Ho, you could put whatever you want on there. I'm just gonna do a very simple Merry Christmas. And I'm going to do it in Cherry Cobbler so it matches. And hopefully, I think it'll, yes, it will fit. So I just need to grab a little block because I haven't planned this little bit, but that's fine. I can go in on one of these ones. And I'm going to do it in Cherry Cobbler because I like the Cherry Cobbler as... It then coordinates through so let's just take that out pick it whoops pick it up just a little bit of Make sure that I get this straight. So I have to bring it down a bit. Like that. So you've got a lovely Merry Christmas on there. And then that is just going to glue in on there. I'm going to wait for it to dry a little bit. But there we are. You've got a very simple little box turned into a Father Christmas or a Santa Claus or a Santa or, or whatever you call him. Um, fill it with little treats, put it, uh, you know, underneath the tree or a little stocking stuffer makes a different idea. As I say, you can do this with a card if you wanted to. You can do it with um, with anything you want. You can do it with a cracker. You can do it any way you want. It's just a way of brightening up the box to make it look like Father Christmas. So thank you so much for watching me. As always, please stay safe and well. Please be kind and look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye bye.